Hi friends, it is our third day in Japan as a solo traveler, yay, and today is mainly going to be a museum day. We will first be going to the Cup Noodles Museum and then the Snoopy Museum. I was so thrilled to see that the Cup Noodles Museum had a parking garage. It was a very small parking garage and you had to pay for it, but I was still really happy that there was parking so I wouldn't have to drive around and look everywhere for it. I was first greeted with the gift shop and they had this giant cup noodle in the corner, which was really cool to see. I did not pre-order tickets and they still had a lot available to enter the museum as well as for customizing your own cup noodle. They also had a chicken ramen workshop but for that class you would need to reserve it. I got the 12 o'clock time slot for making your own cup noodles and when I went in the first exhibit had a lot of these ramens that were released for each year. I even found my birth year. In the next exhibit room there was the first ever space ramen which makes sense because it's a dry food so I would expect nothing less. This cup noodles display was so intricate and I really wanted to take a picture with it but I was by myself and I am an introvert so I did not want to ask anyone else to help me take a picture so please enjoy this video for me. The other room showed the history of ramen and I came upon this house that had all these noodles on display and I really like the concept of it. It's a house inside a house aka the museum. Getting through the exhibits was pretty fast and then I went to line up for my time slot to customize my cup noodles. I also found the chicken ramen workshop and look at the cute chicken hats everyone was wearing. When it was my turn to go to the cup noodle machine to purchase my cup I realized it was cash only and I literally could not find my 500 yet anywhere that I had found in the parking lot. I literally turn my bag upside down to look for it and the guy behind me was so nice and gave me his 500 yen so thank you so much for helping me out i wish i could repay him i then customized my cup noodles with penguins and boba which are two of my favorite things and then from there i went to go seal it the ladies working the section were so nice they were so friendly and showed me where to put my camera to record i first found this thing to add the ramen to my cup and then i got to choose a basin for toppings i chose curry as my base shrimp this chicken thing this meat for my last topping i got crab she then sealed it up for me plastic wrapped it and placed it in this plastic wrap shrinker here's the final product and you then pump air into this plastic bag thing to protect it this is the view of yokohama from the cup noodle museum and afterwards i stopped by the noodles bazaar which was the food court inside this cup noodles museum which i saw had literally every meal from every country i opted for the pho and the strawberry milk tea with boba my total for my meal is only 900 yen which is equivalent to six us dollars which is still insane to me because in california this meal would be 20 dollars. i picked up my meals at their respective countries and this sign was hilarious to me because it said the pho was so good and asking word for word friend do you want to try in viet the boba was definitely more on the milky side and you had to stir the strawberry syrup so it mixes it evenly and the pho tasted more like vegetarian soup i was craving boba so bad because i could not find any so far from the places that i've been to so i was happy that i found this and viet food you guys i've not tried any japanese restaurants yet and i am in japan after my meal we went to the souvenir shop where they had so much stuff i legit wanted to buy it all they had this mystery meat cereal these unique cup flavors that i got for robert and i got a cup noodles card for my brother as well as a postcard for me for my postcard scrapbook in japan they are very known for having small themed toy cars in their gift shop i've seen so many small toy cars catered to the theme of the place in most of the gift shops that i've been to in japan you know how in america we have like playing cars which is hard for me to find here and more like shirts and stuff but for here it's a lot of toy cars and stationary stuff i then went outside to find that there was a legit amusement park across the museum and then i followed a crowd of people across the street to a mall where i felt like i was transported to hawaii literally everything was hawaiian themed and they even have a hawaiian themed food court filled with burgers and shaved ice here's my outfit of the day i wore snoopy because we are about to go to the snoopy museum next we then walked back to my car and look how pink these flowers are i was so amazed they also do hawaiian days at the mall that the snoopy museum is located in i think it is called the granberry fest that's happening based on the sign here's the outside of the snoopy museum peanuts cafe and it was still so surreal to see it all in real life that i stood there for a while just staring at it and taking pics of videos when i entered we first went to get tickets so tickets were about 2,000 yen so that's 14 dollars usd which is a bit more expensive compared to the snoopy museum santa rosa which were about five dollars a ticket the ticket was so cute i was so excited to have another souvenir to add to my collection and on the back there is a snoopy comic strip i took an elevator to the first room where they showcase all these big snoopy plushies in the middle and all the smaller Snoopy figurine collectibles on the side. The next room had comic strips lined all around the walls and when we reached the outside they had a patio filled with all these Snoopies. I then got to see this giant Snoopy and this giant Snoopy house. In the same room with the giant Snoopy house you can create your own post-it to post it up on their Snoopy wall and I drew the Snoopy off of the back of my Snoopy ticket and placed it up on the wall. We then went down the stairs to my favorite place which is the gift shop. They had this cute tote bag. Everything was so cute. I just wanted to buy it 
at all, but I controlled myself and thought of only buying things that I for sure would use. They have this Kansas book, and here's the cars again. They have a lot of collectible toy cars, so this was a Snoopy, a mini Snoopy toy car. I ended up getting this mini Snoopy glass that I feel like would be useful for all my mini trinkets, and of course, we stopped by the postcard area. I've never seen so many postcards. Like, I've never seen a postcard wall, so this was really unique to see. I got some chopstick holders. I got my brother this puzzle because I don't know why I just get her puzzle so here's another puzzle for her and I really like the layout of this gift shop I feel like they just had everything Snoopy that you would want here's all the stuff that I got and they gave me two of these clothespins because I ended up buying a lot we then made our way to the peanuts cafe I ordered this picnic basket and I got a few Snoopy themed items and did you guys know that in Japan they have these baskets underneath your chair so you don't have to put your stuff on the ground which I appreciate so much I wish we had that in America I also got these wolf wharf I don't remember what it's called but i got these pancakes and then i got this snoopy drink and i was so excited for the picnic basket and when i tried it, it was so delicious i really recommend it i then explored the mall afterwards and right inside the mall when you exit from the peanuts cafe there's a sean the sheep cafe i haven't heard of sean the sheep in the longest time so that was really interesting to see we then stopped by the sanrio store another gachapons place and just explore the mall afterwards we drove to book off in machida and we also went to donkey hody after at book off this was my first time going here i've been seeing this all over tiktok and i just wanted to see what there was there were so many floors and so much stuff they even had a gachapon place in this store and the overstimulation is real you guys if you are ever in japan i feel like you would need to probably bring like 10 empty luggages because you just want to buy everything i got a few gachapons for my brother and legs and then my brother really wanted pokemon so they had this pokemon aisle with so much pokemon i couldn't choose and here is my purchase i then explored the streets of machida and they had this orange juice machine which i thought was really interesting i then stopped by this arcade and they had so many claw machines they really specialize in claw machines and gachapon here and then my favorite store Don Quixote. I was so excited for this. I feel like shopping in Don Quixote is always a good way to end the night. This Don Quixote had so many floors and so much stuff to look at and buy. There's five floors here. I explored every single floor. This is all the makeup I got. I've been seeing this all over social media so I want to try it. There was another gachapon section. I feel like, I don't know if I told you guys this before, but I feel like Don Quixote is like a target and crack because there's just so much stuff. It's like Target but like times like 10. I was looking for the mango peeler, mango peeling gummies. I couldn't find it. So if you guys know of any places that sell it, please let me know. This was my haul, which was not too bad. And this is everything that I got from today. Thank you for exploring Japan with me and I will see you guys in my next video.